Shoot. Can we begin? Hi, Can I have your first question? Mr. President, si Ian Cruz po sa GMA News Manila. Uh, sir, sa tingin niyo po ba nagkaroon ng uh, kapabayaan yung local government sa kahandaan sa Bagyong Ulysses? And at the same time... I, I, I cannot hear you. I, um, I have a... Apo. Mahina ang ano ko sa... Disgrasya sir, sa ko tingin... sa motor. Okay. Sir, sa tingin niyo po ba nagkaroon ng kapabayaan yung mga LGU sa kahandaan sa Bagyong Ulysses? And no, especially do not sa... believe in that. That's garbage. Alam mo... Lahat ng mga the one in charge sa mga yung preparations for emergency long before dumating yung typhoon naka-deploy na yan mga tao dito including the, the nearest uh, yung mga makinarya nandiyan na sa uh, the, the nearest to the provinces na which we really suspect to be Uh, prone to flood. So what about yung mga releasing ng uh, tubig sa dam? Uh, may marami po mga nagireklamo ng mga LGU, hindi ero po na-coordinate sa kanila. So, sa dam, you have to release it. Otherwise, you have to catastrophe. You have to release it. Every dam in this world, pagka puno na yung tubig, you release talaga yan. Otherwise, magkalat yan pag nagsira, you have a, as I said, a catastrophe in your hands. Sir, for my uh, second question po, yung Bicol region po, widely devastated ng Rolly and uh, Bagyo ng Ulysses. Uh, ma marami po nangyayari din ngayon sa Cagayan, sa NCR, and sa other region. Umaasa po yung mga taga Bicol. Uh, alam ko po, po, kaya po kayo nandito, sana po hindi raw sila mapabayaan, especially yung Katanduanes. Ang pinag-usapan na naman dito, kung anong tulong. Lahat ng departamento, may contingency plan yan sila. That's why some of them are here, Secretary Evel. They have the money already. Hindi pa kayo magkapag-pray. Mayroon na silang pera. Sinadya ko yan. So it's a matter of assessment. You cannot go on spending spree without knowing what you are spending for. So, kailangan nila ng assessment. Give them time. Problema because that is government money. So, you run the risk of, oh, kaso, kaso. Give them time to make the assessment. I said, my question to every secretary who is with me here now in Bicol, nandun ng iba sa Cagayan, Valley, As always said, do you have the money? Uh, pag sabi meron, huwag oh. kayong maniwala niya. You look, we are government workers. What are we supposed to do? In our work, sit on our ass? And even if you, without even the the Typhoons coming in. Even if you have nothing to do, you might as well prepare really for the eventuality. Alam ko yan, I've been mayor for 22 years sa Davao. Alam ko na yung baha, sunog, landslide, dinaanan ko. That is what I am implementing here. So yung assessment before you begin to spend money. But the, yung, we do not have so much machinery. But they are here in Bicol so, ano, in anticipation for Titan. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Jenny from TV5, Mayor. Mayor, um, follow up lang namin, your reaction lang po. Kasi marami din pa rin nag-criticize na naging mabagal daw yung pagtugon ng government dito sa kalamidad. Storya lang yan? Pwede uh, okay. Kailan pa ba, kailan pa ba na ito tumakbo rin ng gobedo na mabilis? You go right away and spend money, you land with the ombudsman. So give them time to make the proper assessment on it. Ang wala, wala, saan ang bagal dito? Nandyan ang pagkain, 
the housing and young they are ready to implement. You have to because you have the money. Kung politika yan, sa totoo lang. That's the political punchline. Mayor Las, kasi you went po doon sa Ginobatan Albay at nakausap niyo po yung mga residente regarding sa quarrying. Ano na po yung follow-up doon sa, you've mentioned, magsasagawa po ng investigation. Ano na po yung follow-up po doon? Again, I... Sa quarrying po doon sa, you went po, Mayor Las, last week sa Ginobatan Albay. At yung cry po ng mga residente is stop yung quarry. Doon daw yung naging dahilan kaya nagkaroon ng lahat. Hindi ko rin talaga makuha ulit. Quarrying po. Ginabatan ng bahay. Yung sa albay. Akala ko dito. Nandun na ay ordered si Mato. General Samato, who is the DNR, to stop the quarry. Hindi dito sa ano, tumuyo yung itong small mining. Kaya puro butas-butas yung bukid. Pagpasok ng tubig doon sa butas ng mining mining dyan, it will loosen the soil, the foundation, and that's why you have the landslide. Well, what's scary is that uh, yung mga minero ang bahay nila nasa baba of all the stupid things that you can really think of gano'n sa baba nasa bagay hindi nila makuha yan na I said it will loosen the foundations of the bukid and cause the last light Hi sir, good afternoon po Sir, sa inyo pong pag-iikot yung assessment nyo po, sa tingin nyo po kung nagkaroon na tayo ng Department of Disaster matagal na, eh, we could have avoided this damage? We, we're having a resistance. Sa Congress mismo. May, may iba, duble na daw, uh, uh, a duplication of work. Tama na daw yung isa. So sa akin, okay lang. I, I can do it in the meantime na baski yan lang. What is important is that you have the machinery, and you have the equipment, and you have the money, and people are there deployed before the typhoon comes. Sir, last na po. Yung ano lang po, sir, may mga lugar na hindi naman dati binabaha, pero kayong dinaha na meron ding mga na lahar po na hindi naman dati binadaanan ng lahar. Do you think, sir, uh, what is your stand on climate change, sir? Too much water. It's climate change, actually. It is climate change. That was my topic when I was talking uh, in the summit. During the typhoon, I was attending a ASEAN summit. Doon, binira ko yung, yung climate change na yan. So, too much water. The ocean is becoming hot. E yung tubig, umaakyat doon sa ano, yung vapor. Vapor man yan, pero marami. It accumulates in the sky, and then ibubuhos niya yan. Now, the other thing is, pag hindi ninyo ako pinaalis, pag nahulog yung aeroplano ko, paki... Gusto ko mo... What's up mga tropa peeps?